Welcome back to Potted Living, the show where we teach you how to grow all kinds of fruits and vegetables and small garden spaces in either pots, containers, whatever you want to call it. And today I've got a very special and exciting announcement. I just planted a Chilean guava. This is a plant I've wanted for a very long time and I was finally able to find one. Uh, this one is about a foot and a half tall. This plant variety will grow up to five feet. Uh, tall about three to four feet wide. It is a bush variety. They apparently grow very well in pots and containers So I'm excited to see how this one goes. You can see there's a little bit of growth already started um, And what I've heard about Chilean guavas is that the flowers produce a scent a little bit like cotton candy and the fruit which is about the size of a cranberry um, has a taste like a strawberry slash pear slash bubblegum. I mean, I'm super, super excited to see how this tastes. And um, I've potted this in one of my 12 inch pots, 12 inch by 12 inch by 12. And I've used my favorite soil mixture, as you all know. I love to use sphagnum peat moss for its drainage and it's got a little bit of acidity. Um, Chilean guavas do appreciate a bit of acidity. And then I mix that in with some regular potting soil. Um, for the nutrients. I will add some fertilizer today on the top just to give it a little bit of a boost and I added a bit of mulch on top of that as well. Now what Chilean guava apparently really enjoy is to be very well drained um, while also staying very moist. So again, um, peat moss I think is a fantastic um, alternative for that. And so we'll see how it goes. I'll keep you posted. This is just part one. I just planted it yesterday. The bloom should be coming in May or June and the fruit should be ready August, September. Uh, so I will keep the videos coming. Watch for part two coming shortly. If you are growing a Chilean guava, please do let me know in the comments section. I would love to know your tips and tricks for how to grow this special um, plant variety. They are self-pollinating. I should mention that as well, so you only need one. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments section what you think about the Chilean guava. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel.